Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we will be discussing about um, how to solve linear systems of um, linear equations, systems of linear equations by elimination. Okay, so first one, um, it matters not which one you eliminate. Okay, whether you eliminate x first or you eliminate y first, it does not matter. Okay, um, in this case, um, we have three examples here. Okay, um, the we will try to eliminate first in our first given we will try to eliminate the x which is it's easier and in this case a second given we will try to eliminate x again even though they are not, um they are completely different okay because just a side tip it's easier to eliminate um givens like this why because you will only multiply one uh one equation in this case this is a, uh, this is the only equation you will multiply if you want to eliminate x because you will notice there's nothing beside x. So you will just simply multiply this by whatever is beside x on the other equation. Okay? In this case, if you want to eliminate y, you need to multiply both sides. Kasi your, uh, both of your y will have its coefficient with it. Okay? So in this case, let's eliminate, let's eliminate x. Okay? In elimination of x, again, I will check equation y, a uh, 1, and equation 2. And I want to make the one equation, uh, the equation with the numerical as one, with no numerical coefficient beside or the hidden one here. I want it to be the same as the equation two, the other equation. So therefore, I will multiply this by two to get my two x. So meaning the entire equation one with one will be multiplied by two. So I will now have this one, x plus two y is equals to three. I will multiply this by two. So, I will have 2x plus 4y is equal to 6. So, this is my new equation number 1. So, having your new equation 1, um, let's have our system now. It will have it will be 2x plus 4y is equal to 6. And you have 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. The process of elimination means I will subtract the equation, both equations. Okay, I will subtract them. In the sense na, you know, um, the subtraction algorithm, the usual na 146 minus 345 and so on, okay? I will subtract them like that. So, I will have 2x plus 4y is equal to 6 minus 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. And take note, the rule about subtraction is that you will always change the sign of your subtrahend. This is the subtrahend. So, I will change the sign of everything. So, this would be simply negative. This would be negative and this would be negative. So, let me just uh, remove that properly. Yeah. This one would be now negative. Okay. And this one would also be negative. And after you have done that, you will proceed to addition. And then now, you will evaluate. So, you ask yourself, what is 6 plus negative 5? Kasi you will do it in a, a subtraction algorithm is that you will always subtract yan, vertically. I, I mean, add vertically kasi addition na tayo. 6 plus negative 5, the answer is 1. 4y plus negative 3, 4y plus negative 3, okay? The answer is just simply y. Yan, the answer is y. And then, of course, this one would be eliminated because you're adding two numbers that are the same but with different signs. So, cancel. So, you will have y is equals to 1. Okay? Having y is equals to 1, of course, that is already your value for y because your y is already alone. alone. And the, remember, the ruling about um, uh, finding the value of your unknown is that it should be alone. And this is alone, so this is your y. So, take a hold of that y. So, in the process of elimination, if you already have your first, okay, the second step that you need to do after you eliminate is just substitute. Substitute where? Substitute anywhere. Okay, substitute in any, any, sorry, any equation. Okay, so I will choose equation 1. It will give me x plus 2y is equal to 3 and my y is simply equal to 1. So, this is x plus 2 times 1 is equal to 3. And I will have x plus 2 is equal to 3. And I will have x is equal to 3 minus 2. Therefore, my x is equal to 1. 
So I will have my x and I will have my y. So therefore, the solution for this given um, linear systems of linear equation would be 1 and 1. Let's say this is x and this is y. So this is my solution. That's it. Our aim here is to look for the solution. Okay? So let's have another example. I mean, let's check. Check natin. Let's check, guys. Let's check whether our given is correct or not. So I will put this one on the side. This is um 1 and 1. Okay, this is our uh, solution. And our given would be x plus 2y is equals to 3. And the next one is 2x plus 3y is equals to 5. I'm guessing that's it. Okay, that's all. Okay, good. So what do we need to do now is we need to substitute 1, 1 for x and y. x would be 1, y would be 1. 1 plus 2 times 1 is equals to 3. And the other one is 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1 is equals to 5. This would give me 3 is equals to 3, good. And 5 is equals to 5, good. If it is correct for both instances, then definitely um, your given is um, your given solution, okay? Is correct. Next, let's have equation number two. I mean, example number two. Example number two would be the same, but instead of uh, getting y as your um, variable that will be eliminated, because even though that's the easier one, we will take this one. Okay, you will be asked eliminate x. And eliminating x would just simply um, ask you, this is 2x and this is um, 5x. What do I need to multiply to both of them so that they will be the same? You need to multiply them to the other one. We have 2 times 5, and so therefore, you will have 10x. And 5 times 2 is equal to 10x as well. So the whole equation 1 will be multiplied by 5. And the whole equation 2 will be multiplied by 2. So what would happen there would be, I will have 2x plus 7y is equals to 4. Equation 1, I will multiply it by 5. So this would give me um, 10x plus 35y is equals to 20. This is my new equation 1. And as for the second one, we will have 5x plus y is equals to 10. I will multiply this by 2. This would give me 10x plus 2y is equals to 20. This is my new equation 2. Okay, so having my system as that, 10x plus, and yeah, anyway, so I will not rewrite them. Having my system would be this one, 10x plus 35y is equals to 20. 10x plus 2y is equals to 20. Now, I can eliminate. I will have 10x minus 35y equals to 20 and I will have again 10x plus 2y is equals to 20. Again, what's the rule? Subtract. That's the rule of elimination. Subtract. Okay? So, subtracting them would give me the following signs. Negative for this one. This would become the opposite sign. This would become negative as well and this would become negative. Okay? So, we have both 20. Yeah. We have both 20. So, eliminating them Okay, and of course you go to addition, eliminating them would, of course adding this one would give you 0, because they are the same but of different signs, 0. This would be eliminated as well, because yun nga, the process of elimination. What would be left would be this one, okay. Third, negative 35y plus negative 2y will give you negative 37y, right. And solving for y here will give us, Divided by divide both sides by negative 37. Y is equal to 0. I say no matter what, you divide 0 by any number, the answer would still be 0. And take a hold of that. Hapang hawakan niyan, that Y. Okay? The next thing that you need to do is to simply substitute to any equation. Substitute to any equation. And I will choose equation number um, 2. Kasi equation 2, it's 5x plus y is equal to 10. And substituting that, our y is equal to 0. 5x plus 0 is equal to 10. 5x is equal to 10. Divide by 5, divide by 5. x is equal to 2. 
you have your y, you have your 2, your solution for x is 2, your solution for y is 0, your entire solution is 2, comma, 0. And that would be it. And of course, you can just simply check if you would want to. Checking our given in our system, and our given is 2x plus 7y. Is it 7y? Let me check. Okay, it's equal to 4. And we have 5x plus y is equal to 10. Our solution is 2, 0. So we'll have 2 times 2 plus y. y is 0. Okay, and then we have 5 times 2 plus y is 0. So we have 0. It's equal to 10. This is correct because 5 times 2 is 10 plus 0 is 10. Good. This one is 7 times 0 is of course um, 0. And 2 times 2 is 4. So therefore, this is also correct. Correct for both um, equations. Therefore, our solution for the system. Any solution? This one. Solution for our system is correct. Okay. Solution would be ordered pairs. And last one. Okay, this one. Elim I will choose now the easiest one. Eliminate x. Um, equation 1 is 2x. Equation 2 is 6x. For them to be the same, I will multiply the first by 3. So, I will have 6x. Same na agad, right? You don't necessarily need to multiply them together. If you know how to make a balance, uh, to make balance of your given val variables immediately without changing the other, then that's better. So, you multiply this by 3, it's 6x. So, meaning the first equation will be multiplied by 3. So, you'll have 2x minus 5y is equal to negative 7. Multiply by 3. 6x minus 15y is equal to negative 21. And we eliminate x. Write it down. 6x minus 15y is equal to negative 21. We will have um, the second equation. 6x plus 4y is equal to negative 2. Equation 1 and equation 2. Just to be sure. Na naalala nyo. And then subtract. And in subtraction, you always change the sign. Change the sign, change the sign, change the sign. So we will have our given being negative, negative, and this one, since negative yan, it would become positive now. So we will have positive. Okay? So if we have our positive now here, and all signs are changed, we proceed to addition. And the rule of addition is just simply try to um, add vertically. Negative 21 plus 2, the answer is just simply, um, wait lang, oh gosh, is this negative 19? I guess so. Yeah, negative 19. And then we will have um, this one eliminated for the x. Yan. And then for the y, it's negative 19 as well. Yan. Negative 15y plus negative 4y will give you negative 19. Divide both sides by negative 19. Y is equals to 1. Hold for that. Hold on for that. To that, the y that is equals to one. Next, substitute. 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 Yeah. Okay. Substitute to any equation. Okay. I will pick equation number one. So we will have two x plus. I'm uh, sorry. It's not plus. Two x minus five y is equals to negative seven. And your y is equal to 1. And therefore, you will have 2x minus 5 times 1. Kasi yun yung y nyo. And then, minus 7 equals to negative 7. 5 times 1 is 5. Right? Negative 5. Equals to negative 7. Transpose to the other side. 2x is equal to negative 7 plus 5. It will give you 2x is equal to negative 2. Solve for x, leave it alone. x is equals to negative 1. Hold on to that. Combine them together. Negative 1 and 1. And the last thing you do, try to check. Our system would be... Um, let me just uh, take the equation again. I think it's this one. Okay, so let's take the equation being 2x minus 5y is equals to negative 7. And you will have 6x plus 4y is equal to negative 2. Our solution is negative 1 and 1 being 2 times negative 1 minus 5 times 1 is equal to negative 7. This is negative 5 and negative 2. 
Okay? And if I subtract them together, it will get me negative 7. Correct? And 6 times negative 1 plus 4 times 1, it will give me negative 2. This is negative 6 plus 4. And definitely, that's negative 2. Therefore, correct for both instances in our equation. Therefore, our solution, this one, is correct. Okay? So, I hope that you got that. If you have any other question, you can review the video again. Ulit ulit lang naman yung steps. You could consider this one as an algorithm. Okay? Or you can ask me in our class. Thank you again for listening everyone. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.